death be not proud. Listen up, you ignorant pigs. We got Pike and Shot. For the first time ever, we got one battalion each. One battalion each. And we got Parliament versus Royalist scum. Royalist, yeah. To be <laughs> fair, you have a full army. I only have half an army. So. Well, well, no, it's still... Yeah. This is all you need. I think people... This is one thing that intimidates the shit out of a lot of people. Oh, I need all those miniatures. I'm like, no, you don't. I have a feeling that this is really more or less the ultimate multiplayer tabletop game. Simply because if everybody contributes a little bit to the table, like if you, if you have another buddy who... Let's say we have two buddies. Yep. One brings a battalion of three cavalry with a uh, commander, and another one brings two infantry regiments with a cannon and a commander. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of go, you go through the list that they have here. Everybody just kind of brings a little bit. I, I think you're, I think you're dead on. I think the Warlord stuff lends itself to multiplayer games and versatility very well. So, like, if you want to have the multiplayer games, if you want to have the smaller games, if you want to have the larger 1v1 games, you can kind of do it all. And that's also how Black Powder is kind of set up. Yeah. Everybody kind of brings a brigade, which is 97 miniatures yeah. and maybe some cannons and that, or whatever, if it's a brigade of cavalry or whatever, and they all just sort of chip in to the bigger picture. And that's what this game is about from what I've read. I've had two read-throughs of this. It's a bit like Hail Caesar, so I hope you follow along if you got the book. And we'll go through the armies and deployment, and we'll be back. So here we are for the first ever Pike and Shot Battle Report. We have the Royalist <laughs> <laughs> Army, led by the dashing Prince Rupert Palantine of the Rhine. <laughs> Greetings, Uncle! It is a fair day for a fight! Where be the enemy? With his dog. With his dog, Boy. And then you have the first unit here of his blue coats with musketeers, pikemen, musketeers. You got a firelock storming party and some cavalry. And uh, this is just uh, the first. This is what you get in the starter set if you're going to do one player. So you paint all this and you have basically the start of a good battalion. And then over here, we have the Parliament Forces, uh, by, led by Sir Thomas John Fairfax. And we have a unit of cavalry. It's the same kind of cavalry. I'm just in a different formation. It doesn't matter. And then we got a unit of musketeers, a unit of pikemen, unit of musketeers, and a firelock storming party. I had to put them on the bases this way, because that way I could paint them on the base. Whereas over here, he sprue painted and then put them on the base. So I have one more base than he does, but it's still the same number of guys. It just, they're in an action pose, and I said they kind of need to be spread out in my head. But that it doesn't just really me. matter for the no. Warlord games. No, it doesn't really matter. And this, these are our forces, and we're going to be back after deployment. So this is where the Royalists ended up with Prince Rupert and everything. They've taken the hill, and uh, maybe I can drive them off of it. They got their cavalry over there. And over here is where Parliament under Sir Thomas Fairfax has come into play. And uh, I got the number five, he rolled a two, so I'm going to go first. And uh, we'll be back after turn one. This game will seem a bit like Hail Caesar because they were written by the same guy. So if it seems familiar and you have the book, I suggest you follow along. And it's essentially black powder with roll tweaks is what I've seen on the webs. So we've kind of had our first turn. Now, uh, because these are large units, uh, they one large unit like this will fire five times. And it was one wing to one wing of muskets where he did uh, hit me once and did a wound to me. And uh, I put out a marker for that and I had a five plus armor save to stop that, but I didn't go through. Now, uh, something might be over the line over Whoa. there, we don't know. Oh. Over the line! Okay. The cavalry is coming around my flank. But we're going into Parliament, uh, we're actually going into turn two of the game, and I'll have the camera out just a little bit more as things heat up. So far, it's just tit for tat, nothing's, nothing's really happened. So after my turn two, I actually did qu quite, a, quite a bit of shooting, and I did two wounds to, the, to this wing of Musketeers and a wound to them. On his turn two, he actually rolled a four, 
And uh, this allows you to do something a little bit differently than Hail Caesar. What does it allow you to do? So if you roll uh, two less than your morale value or your commander's value, then you can make two turns. If you roll three less, you can make three Without turns. asking for the movement. Without asking for it. Yeah, so it's kind of at your discretion, and that'll get the game good and off of the lick, as they say. Yeah, it was. So you sense. rolled a four. Are you taking three or two? I'm going to take three. He's going to come around here, and he's going to take three, and we could be in trouble if we don't get any orders next turn. It was a very good roll. We're not over the line. We're not over the line. Dude. <laughs> I got, got you all paranoid about that. Let me move these markers for you. <laughs> Why do you put the force in the same location, guys? I never changed the table. If you, you look, you can do the terrain next time. All right, whatever you want to pull out, I've got it upstairs. I've, I've got so much stuff in this. I've got crazy stuff in this house that people I have know. never seen before. All right, it's like you know, you you might discover the queen alien. It must be something holy. Di we haven't seen from Holy Diver yet. <laughs> all right, so um. So I got one more move with the cavalry, and then I'm gonna do the rest all right. of the orders. So, this is actually turn three. We had just finished our respective turn two. Oh, okay. All right, you moved forward, you wanted the charge, then you didn't get the charge, oh, and uh, you did yeah. another wound on the same band of musketeers to my left wing. So we're gonna go through this turn live just a little bit. I have some decision making. It's actually dead even. You got two on this one, I got two on that one. We both have one, but I got this fucking dude. These dudes are primed. They want some I know, booty. they want some ass. They want some booty, dude. They're the booty um, So, basically I'm gonna order this unit to turn and fire. Ah, ah, Oh, ah. doesn't okay. matter. That's a cock. I get a that reroll that. Okay, we're good. All right, there we go there. And that's gonna probably be my only real order. Whereas, uh... You're still outside of charge range. <laughs> Unless you'd wanna give the two no, we're going to, uh, what do you, well, I'm not going to charge cavalry, I'm going to try to shoot you on threes. All right. That, that'll be all I can do there, and then over you here. Are, yeah, you are at close range, 100% close range. Um, we're going to, we're going to just pivot one more time. You're going to do a pivot? Yeah. I do not get a reroll, but I have what I wanted. And then we're just going to do a formation change with my cavalry. Making us to four across. Like you. Well, I'm six across right now. Or eight. And then that's all I've got. So there's that. And uh, so I actually have to look up the shooting value, but I do know the shooting value here. It's three, so we need yep, three. two shots to there. Two shots. Miss them both with double twos. Glad nice. I did that. Smooth moves, man. We're going to take three shots onto them from here, and then two shots onto the same wing. That is long range. Uh, so it'll still be fives. Nothing. There. Normal, but it's still nothing. Still nothing. All right, and then the pistols, I have two shots. Which do two. Which, which you do two. Onto this wing here, and that will be a uh, test. One. Oh, one will save. What's your 2d6 say? 12 or 12. Or no, 12's a blunder, right? No, tw uh, 12's good on a leadership. Oh, You're good. good. You stand uh, without penalty. Yeah. So now it goes to your turn, yep. and... Uh, Looks like you're gonna get some charges. I tried my best here. Fairfax isn't coming through for me. I better go. I better go paint Oliver Cromwell. Oh, you're fucked. Oh yeah, I am. Is that an initiative move? No, I'm gonna charge you with these guys. And then I'm gonna turn. And... All right, so we're one turn. You're one turn. All right, one turn on the cab to do a charge. Okay, good. successful. Yep. On a seven. They're charging. And I guess what's uh eating fours, we got one. 
For closing fire. For closing fire? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I roll? I still roll morale save. You still roll a morale save. He should be a four up, which is good. good. All right. Now melee. What do we do in the melee? This is the first time we've done melee. That's French. And uh, you should have a uh, hand-to-hand value of eight. Ouch! Oh, what the fuck? Fuck, dude. Eight dice? Is, is that, that what right? says? Yeah. That's, yeah. Jesus Christ. That is aggro right there. And I'm looking at the, uh, what do you call it? Holy shit. New mod, I have a hand-to-hand -hand value of four. We are simultaneous. Well, you're early. You're early. You did early list. I know, but my storming party is only on oh, uh, oh, is in the New English. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Jeez Louise. So this will be simultaneous. Uh, what are the rest of your orders? Work those out. I don't now. think I have anything. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Are you, so up. finish your movie okay. before yeah. uh, we fight. Um, all right, these guys are gonna pivot. Um, I mean, I think I need. Six inches. Now, how will this charge work? Because we're we're obliquely facing each other. So basically, you're going to come down here, and your line's going to be that way. You're because you're going to connect in the center. Okay. So it'll be this. So it'll be Do here I'm, to there. Well, I need one. I didn't just one turn then, right? Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to, I can form hedgehog. But I'm going but to you, just. Uh, do yeah, but you're not fighting cavalry, so there's no point to. All right, then. I will do one turn, um, one turn for both of them. That's all I need. Oh, and I can take, really, I can take. Whatever you want. Fuck, you I can take whatever I want. Okay, that's really good then. So I'll do probably two with these hombres. Get them within close range. And then right. So are you charging me in combat? Yeah. Though? Okay. So they won't have anything to shoot at. Yeah, because they can't shoot those guys either, right? All right. Okay, so we're in combat. The pikes are there. He's moving up. That's theirs. That's there. I'm just positioning them for the next turn. All right. Uh, it's not going to work. It's going to work. I got it's not it. going to work. I got it. You did a good job of putting your shit together. I did a good job of putting my shit together. It's gonna work. Boom. It ain't gonna work. Now we got a scrum going. Oh, the sport begins. All right, and that's that. You might wanna, are you keeping your commander with your dudes? Yep, I'll keep my commander with the dudes. Okay. All right, we'll do the cavalry first. Eight. Eight, here it Eight is. fours. Simultaneous. Ooh, I got two. You charged. Is it like Hail Caesar where you need threes? Oh, I don't know. I That's believe it question. might be. Let's come. That'll be two. Let's turn off the camera and find out. Okay, both of them. So we're back, and uh, didn't go well for my musketeers. He made both of his saves. You do get plus one to hit for charging, yep. and I made three of my saves. But uh, unfortunately, I am now a shaken unit. You get to throw one more attack for flank support. Yeah. So go ahead and do that now. No. No. All right. Now we're in this scrum. Now what in the fuck is this? This is the this is the good the stuff. The pikes right are going to get a, a way bigger hand-to-hand -hand value, I'm sure. Well, the pikes are just the foot. They have a hand-to-hand -hand value and of six. six, and the musketeers three, and the musketeers three. So, and, then, and I still will get a plus one. These guys charging. don't fight. What they do is they add to the result. result. All right, so that's one key difference in Hail Caesar here. So. Um, I'm going to attack you with both. I'm going to attack your musket wing on this side with yes. my musket wing, which will need fours to your threes. There's mine. One. One. I save, save. it. Oh, what'd you do to me? Two. Two. I save one. All right, so that one's going to be one shaken now, and then. Um, Is that three? What's its stamina? Three. 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 Okay. And then I have six with my pikes into your pikes. And with me, need threes. I miss everything. No! And I do four. You do four, and my morale value is that of a four. four. You and fail, and now I am shaken. Now you're shaken. Which comes these are these musketeers. 
And then I have three, with my musketeers, one. Three. All of them. All of them? Yep. Then I'll do my save. Oh. Down. I make two, two of my saves, so that... So you're shaking. Shaking. All right. Now, let's see here. You did four plus one. One, and you did two to me. No, two, three. You did... No, no. Three. Just two. Yep, just two. One and one. Yep. Okay. So... I win by one. Now, the commander's coming. No, you play. win by uh, three so far. Not three, because I did four to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, my pike's really No, I, I did four and one. I did So, by four. I did four and one, right? So, so you did four and one, which is five, two. and I did no, two, three, so you three, win by three. Okay. okay. Yeah. And now, uh, let's see, what the commanders the add a buff. Rupert is a personality, and I believe Rupert actually adds uh, plus two to that number, whereas my guy adds plus, Where the plus fuck one. Where is that chart? We'll find that real quick. So what happened, uh, what we figured out is that everybody has these little uh, over on like 146 to uh, starting on 145, going to 146, 149. They have like bios for and each then you, Yeah, you, and what each general does. So both of us are commands, uh, command rating of eight. No, I'm a nine, you're an eight. Well, it, it only it adds matter. plus one. Yeah, but in, but if you have a special rule, you can't take the plus one. So our special rules are the only thing we get. Oh, okay. So none of us have the, what do you call the it? The plus one. The plus one. Because we're named characters that have their own special rules. Yours is Iron Will and mine's... Yeah, I should have been rallying my guys. But so you can do a that. rally and I get to re-roll cavalry charges, essentially. Attacks on cavalry charges. I'll get to rally in my next turn. Yeah. So, um, you've only beaten me by three. three. I got to roll high. Nine is a Minus six. three, six. That's infantry, right? Right. Holds its ground. Holds its ground. Okay. So. And then, you gotta re and then we got these guys over here. I beat you by a shit ton by four. Oh, by four. And that's a six, two. Yep, you're over there. What's it say? Four or less. Breaks and is destroyed. Breaks and is destroyed. Ouch. First blood. First blood goes to the royalists. That's what you get. That's what we get. For disobeying your king. That's what we get for disobeying Alec Guinness. Now, <laughs> uh, that's how turn three kind of uh, went through. Uh, we'll, be uh, we'll be back after I pick myself up and sally forth for turn four. <laughs> So I should have just been taping my whole turn. I lost all of that. And uh, he's got two broken regiments, of sh uh, shaken regiments of musketeers. Uh, he charged me on his turn. Here we are, I shot him, did one. And uh, you have eight angry attacks. That I get to re-roll misses. That you get to re-roll misses for. Yeah. Because you got Prince Rupert Palatine of the Rhine. Yeah, that's my roll. All right, so I did five, and I get to re-roll three. And I hit you once. We already we already did that. No, we oh, 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 already right. did oh, it. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I get one more. So I did six. So uh, you take one save, and I need one how, save. How many? Four I need up. six. I save it, and then you need six on fours up. Ah! Oh uh, no! You asked me to make Two. a four up. I can't do it. So. I'm at my stand, I'm a value, That's and four, did yeah. you save it? Yeah, okay. I saved. So, um, lose by four, this is probably the end of my army. Four, yep, that's it. Seven. Break, dead. Three. And so it's a victory for the Royalists. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> and it's on tape, oh well. Oh, is Fairfax drunk? What the fuck happened? Well, he has a cup in his hand for some reason. It's not the actual, yeah, he, he, he probably was drunk. <laughs> The guy puts up his dukes like a total douche. So the action man, because he's a full-on psycho, pistol whips him into the ground like a tent pole. Up and says, Kiss my ass! <laughs> you are scum, sir! <laughs> it was! God damn. 
Well, that was our little Pike and Shop boot camp uh, run through right there. As you can see, Parliament lost. That's not how history was supposed to go. But it we, went back and forth the first two years. It wasn't until like Marston Moore when the fucking Royalists really got their ass handed to them. Um, we're going to have to go back and train men with fire in their bellies and who fear the enemy, but not, but not myself. <laughs> God said... I should rule, and today I ruled. You ruled? Um, yeah, so Rupert has some pretty good rules uh, for the cavalry. He gives them bonuses. They get plus one to hit. Uh, and automatic galloper. And uh, re-roll. Yeah, and the, and the automatic galloper, which is 12-inch movement range on non-light cavalry. So if you got some people with different armies and they're bringing different commanders for Civil War, it could really be a mashup, and it's going to be different every single time. I wish they had it for Hail Caesar. I wish like that you would, would have, be cool. You could have, you know, if you were playing uh, the Macedonians, you could have like Ptolemy, or you could have Alexander, or if they went through it, and, and, and they, yeah, and they went through and they selected six of the generals yep, and Alexander, yep, and or you did it with the Romans. Or if too. you go back a little bit in time and be like, what does Philip do? Yeah, yeah, you know, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty awesome because it'll set it up really good. You can have Fairfax and Cromwell, and then I can have. Um, Northampton and Charles doesn't get any rules. He doesn't get any he's rules. A, yeah, he's, he's just, just an eight. He's just a vignette. But you could also get Demarcus. Yes, the Marquis. Yeah. Well, that if I play the Scott army, then I have to play the Scott army. You have to get the Scott miniatures to play the Scott army. Um, God damn it! I was hoping I'd do a little better. It just. Bad dice rolls, I guess. That's what I'm chalking up to. Bad dice. You started out good, and then it tanked. I was making saves on five up. Oh, look at that. I ain't failing. Then I had to, if you're like, yeah, you have four, uh, four, four plus saves you got to make. I roll. Pfft. There, all your stamina's gone. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I do, I, he did that again. I make, I try to, I go to make the saves. I roll the best I can. Mm -hmm. Threes, ones, nothing I can do. So, um, I, I think that this will be uh, really good as we ramp up the forces. And, Shit, uh, I want to get Renaissance guys, too. I want to get, like, uh, Swiss mercenary guys and Burgundian guys, because that's also pike and shot. Gosh, you want to go all into this. You're just all over, man. Yeah. Um, so you're doing this vignette for Charles? Yeah, I already have. It's already done. So oh, I have one less miniature. I only have the three. If you can get them all on there, I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just didn't have the miniatures. I didn't have them, so I just had the two. So I did that vignette minus that guy. Minus that guy. So I had the flag bearer and the drummer boy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what what was your general impression of the game when you? Uh, I mean, it's it's warlord. It's solid. I mean, it plays well. It's fast paced. Um, it's yeah, well fast balanced. paced. We were done in less than an well, hour. We only had one battalion. Normally, you play with two to three battalions. Yeah, you, you you're supposed so. to ramp it up, but that is the bare minimum of yeah. you and a friend need to play uh, Pike and Shot, and you could do it with small units too. And uh, let's just go to that page. Oh, here it is. So it's eight to eleven for a small mm -hmm. unit of infantry with. Uh, with uh, what do you and that's uh, the pike blocks the infantry pike so blocks an six infantry. to seven for commanded line commanded shot okay and then four to five or no six to seven for cavalry yeah no four to five for cavalry four to five for cavalry yeah. okay. so actually if you play small units you really don't need that much miniatures a hundred miniatures is like I mean really a hundred miniatures you can play with standard size units plus 64. commander sixty five. Okay. So you had 65 miniatures. Aside. And, and, that, and if you're time crunched, that's actually really good. I mean, so you can do, we did that in less than two hours. Well, we, we did it in less than two hours. We literally Going through the, looking up special rules with it. That was looking up special rules and everything. And then you put the commanders in there, you had 132 miniatures. So yep. that's pretty good. That's pretty yep. good. And uh, a lot of fun, too. So, and, you, and if you've got more friends that would like to get into it, you know, everybody just does a little bit, and, and you, the battles could get really big, and they'll go really fast, yeah, they'll surprisingly. Go fast. Yeah, yeah, it's a so, great game. So, you know, I, I, it's probably the funnest game I've played all year. Um, I still have to learn a, a, a little bit more about Sword Point before I can make well, a we rule. Well, we both got to learn more about Sword Point. That game's a lot more intricate. Yeah. And uh, so that was Pike and Shot. If you like the video, comment and subscribe. As you know, YouTube has many features you can use to interact with me. Uh, but until I see you again, stay metal, my friends, and keep playing. And don't forget to check out this game because it's really badass. Yeah, no one plays it in the States. And, like and guess what? Game. Guess what? 
I'm first on YouTube, so we had a week of, <laughs> we we're going to have a month of firsts in October. There you go. Nobody's played this on YouTube. I'm like Oscar the Grouch, the biggest dick on Sesame Street. Huge. <laughs> I'm more of an expert at uh, exposing the moon. <laughs> I, Get out of the let's go. <laughs> See if you can find uh, the one crater. <laughs>